All right, this week we are talking about the uh, chromatic exercises in the Getchell book. This is on page 31 towards the back of your Getchell book. Um, chromatic scales are really, really essential uh, to practice as a trumpet player because you get all of your fingerings, of course. We learn the fingerings for every single note, which, as we know, for young trumpet players, we look at fingering charts sometimes and wonder... What the heck is an E sharp? What is a what is an A sharp? Those weird accidentals we see. So the chromatic scale will work those out for you and you'll never wonder. Um, but in addition to that, what we're really gonna focus as we play this chromatic scale today is um, on our articulation. If a note is this long, we want that much of it to be the articulation. And then the rest of the sustain is all about the air. So that means your tongue has got to be very crisp, very clean, and very precise. So the syllable you're going to think about as you practice this is the T syllable. You're going to think about a ta sound on every note. So one thing I want you to practice is just really short, really strong articulations on some uh, short separated notes. You could do this on like a low C for right now, since that's the first note of a song. And you're just going to go... Just like such. If I was to do that without the trumpet, you would hear my air and it goes. So you can hear my tongue and then you can hear a little burst of air that follows that. All right. So what you're going to practice on page 31 of the uh, Getchel book is chromatic exercise number one. And of course, the first thing I want you to do is to play it in that style we just did. So this would be as staccato as possible thinking about every single note two 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 every single note having that two tongue sound on it um, i'm going to put the metronome on at 72 and i'm going to play through the exercise like this so you can hear it if you feel like it listen to it and then rewind it and play along with me here it is one two two <laughs> the first way staccato if your tongue feels a little bit tired at the end of that uh, it might feel that way because that's a lot of articulation and you're you're using a lot of a lot of muscle to make all those notes really clear way number two as you play this you're still gonna single tongue everything but we are going to now make it a legato tongue so here it is without the trumpet You can still hear my air going the whole way, whereas before, I stopped the air in between every single note. Keep the air going. All right, I'm going to bump the metronome up just a little bit here. I'm going to kick it up to uh, 84, and we're going to play through the pattern again. Here it is at 84 legato tongues. Oh, sticky valve. Let's try that again. One, two, three.
better place for that last breath. But that's for you to do this week. Okay, that's the second way. First way was staccato. Second way was legato. Third and final way, you probably have an inkling in your mind what's coming, and that's going to be slurred. So slurred, just think about it. articulating the first note of each phrase clearly. And then keep the air going. Sounds like this. Chromatic scale, exercise one on page 31 of the Getchell book. Staccato, legato, slurred, do it all with the metronome. Uh, that last tempo I did was 96, uh, but you can do it at whatever tempo you are comfortable and clean at. All right, thank you for listening, and go practice. <laughs>